Beginning podcast. Here we are, guys. We're we're back. Um, first things first. A few, few things up at the top of the show. Big thanks to Archie Ram uh, for last week coming on board. Bit of a chat. Uh, it went down really well. Um, and then offer we had another hour's chat afterwards. Probably should have hit recording it and edited it out a wee bit. Um, but I'm joined today with uh, Mark, and we're going to talk virtual 2021 to the north. Who yes, thought, we are. Who thought this time last year we would be doing this this time next year? So, <laughs> right yeah, we, crazy, crazy times. Um, what actually, there was no racing last year. Would, would that be right in saying this time? Uh, there was only two races. I think Anna Clone and one other went ahead last year and then full on lockdown and there hasn't been a race since or did they open it up in the summer again i think there was one or two yeah because i a can't, couple re- of, can't remember a couple of rail races around the champs or um, so yeah tuz uh ross blaney and co must have approached the to the north committee got in touch with them bounced off each other through the ideas of each other and they got a green light i'm sure joan there was like yes go ahead it makes life a lot easier for for me so uh, we're just going to break it down. Ross has sent me through the PDF as such, the, the handbook. Um, handbook, yeah. You like a uh, handbook? Yeah, there's a couple of years I was uh, not, I'd never gotten the front of the handbook, but it was in a full page spread I've shown you of the handbook. <laughs> um, it's about here somewhere, actually. So if you can take us uh, through the stages, um, Mark, and go from there from the top. Yes. So stage number one all starts on Saturday, 9 a.m., early start, Greater London Flat. Two laps, 29 Ks in distance. Stage number two is on the same day, which is a TT. It's only 8K long. Time trial Bologna, I think that is called. Stage three, 10 a.m. start, Watopia Hilly Route. Four laps, 37 Ks. And stage number four, which is the best of last here. Uh, 10 a.m. start, Quatch Quest, 46.8 Ks. And it finishes at the top of the Alp. Yeah. That one's going to be good. It's going to be interesting to watch. Um, it, what's the commentating team then at the weekend? Yeah, commentators are uh, what it was for the league, pretty much. Myself doing the stream and talking a bit of crap. Fiona is also in. Ross will be there. He may be on a bit. Well, he is racing it, so I'm not sure what way we'll set that up. I haven't spoke to him yet about it. And... Uh, Tommy Evans is free for a few of them, he says. So, okay. yeah, full team. To the North, previous winner. So, yep. some inside. And Swift Legend as well. Let's face yeah. it. So, level uh, 50. Level 50. Let's break stage one down, which is Saturday. So, yep. what was that again? That was Greater London, London. Flat. Flat, 29K. So, we've got the Strava segment up here. Um, Nothing really to worry about. No, so it's two two big laps. Um, it doesn't go out and do the box hills, or it doesn't must stand the other side no, of the river. No, no, so, two, two laps pretty much flat. There's a few wee small kickers, but nothing really to worry about. Um, it's just an easy start, I think. Yeah, give, give yeah. boys, uh, give boys false hope, like a bit like Carcassonne, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boys, the ride round. So, what's what's the sort of ETA time on that? What's how long is that going to take? Uh, ETA on that stage is roughly 35 to 40 minutes for the winner okay. and three sprints in total including the finish line no km points we'll break the prizes down after this after we do the stages but yeah there's, yep. there's a full range of prizes stage, oh, yeah. stage two then is an individual time trial yeah and it's uh, it's decent enough as well uh i've had a look at the course 8k long uh flat some downhill until around six and a half k's in, uh, where it starts to ramp up, and then at seven k, it's up at ten percent. Just slightly. Uh, top side at sixteen percent. In the middle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then it uh, drops to around six towards the end. So you get a wee slight hand at the end, but yeah, it's up at sixteen percent. So you're going to be getting her tight. Yeah, I was doing my research. I was watching a few videos first of all on how the time trials start. Uh, basically, it's like a they go off on, on rows and each yeah. person in each row goes off one second ahead of each other. Yeah. The start is not actually the start line from where it's timed. Yep. Yeah, no, you set, you cycle in a wee bit yeah. to the start. Yeah. 
so you get those watts up to 400 yeah uh, yeah yeah and then so there's also this sort of 50 50 area off do you use a tt bike versus a, a, a hill climb bike um because there's no drafts, say a tt so. bike definitely well it's a lot it's, it's lot you know you're six k's until you reach the climb flat yeah so yeah. it's some greater preference really isn't it you know um and what's the ETA time on that. There was what was the Strava segments on that? Out and back. Fourteen minutes, roughly, for the winner, according to the notes. Okay. No KOM or sprint points on offer in this one either. So if you've if you've been finishing in the group each day, this is somewhere where you can go from the front of the group to the back and the back to the front, basically. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. If you're no good at a TT, you're going to suffer. Yeah. Uh, so that's Saturday. So. They're both on Saturday. So both on Saturday, nine o'clock start, and you're only looking at 35, 40 minutes, and you get a wee break. And if you rest. go onto on the companion app, it will actually give you your start time. So I'm yes. 11.08. Okay. So I am. So I have to back. figure out how to do this in the stream. So I'm not sure if I can stay in the pen and follow last. the rider. I don't think I can. I'm just, well, I don't know. If you book in last towards the end, and then you can. Right, a pre- preview of that he's watching. Maybe, yeah. The the llama guy. Uh, the, yeah. The, he was llama lab. Llama lab. He was able to sit in and then watch watch the guys at the front. So, um, right. yeah, Sweet. something like that. Um, and that's eleven and we have to finish for half eleven on on Saturday. Then that's a double yeah. dusted. On the beer. <laughs> that's Monday night. Well, <laughs> the dummies may get thrown into the pram before that, you know. Uh, Sunday or Saturday then? No, it is Saturday. Sunday, Sunday then? Yeah, Sunday stage then. three, and it's called uh, Watopia Hilly Route. And yeah. don't really need to explain. It's uh, going to be hilly. Yeah. Two, um, first, the laps. first, cl- yeah. That there's, there's the first climb is the real, the only one to really be worried about here, I think. And it's pretty much at the very start, one k in. Yeah. Um, top side at ten percent, and it's roughly one k long. So What's tight the... enough at the very start. A good warm up's going to be needed for that one. Um, yeah. What time? After it that, it's just up and down, short and sharp. I'm worried about my food. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it's going. Well, to for that one there, for stage three with Toby Hilly Route, you're looking at around fifty minutes for the winner. You know, mm-hmm. so. Get a banana on, on the bike. If you're fueled up before it, you should be all right. You could probably whack a gel at 25 minutes if you were worried. Take a bonk, you know. Yeah, 20, 25 minutes in, whack a gel. Well, yeah. And what time does that start at? Uh, start time for that is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Sunday morning. An hour yeah. So stay off the beer on Saturday night. Early start. Yeah, okay. Again. So I'm just going to write this down. No beer Saturday night. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so... And you have to do that four times, by the way. So you have that climb four times. Well, it'll be three. I, I, I come three. Or four. Four. Is that four laps? Four laps. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I thought it was two. Now, now I see I'm getting educated here as well. Yeah, yeah um, there's a couple of weak kickers just after that climb as well. but don't think There it. is, yeah, but they're not really. Yeah. What's the Strava segment for that first climb among Zed? Have you got it there? No, I don't. I've caught, caught dirt again. Um, that would be somewhere where it is going to be maybe not the first lap but if you're if you don't have your one up in the first lap it's going to take catch you yeah, well, sure you know there's no point hitting her hard at the start because you might get a wee bit go a wee bit of a break going it's going to come back anyway that's out of the pens left under the the carriageway sort of under the motorway bridge and then straight up and that that is straight up yeah unless unless boys go from the gun well, um, soon find out. And then Monday. Yes. The Queen Stage. The uh, Queen Stage is the best way to describe it, definitely. Yeah. Quatch so, Quest 46.8. Yeah. Um I've looked broke this down a wee bit and looked into it. So you've you've two big well, two big clients on paper, but there's actually another one there at the start called Titans Grove reverse. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think if people don't know about it, um you're gonna get caught out there. Oh, definitely. It's it yeah. starts at about four point one k in, yeah. and you're looking at a um, a kilometer long at six point six percent. So three minutes, maybe. Tight, tight, tight enough, like yeah. Well, yeah. people are, are are caught sleeping or sitting at the back thinking, right? I'm yeah. Save it for the yeah the other climb. So 
the first major climb after that then is called the Epic KOM, which is yep. up to the mast. And what's the Strava times that we're looking at for that? I think it was 20 minutes or so, wasn't it? He had us there too, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I was sort of estimating. It was 20 minutes. Yeah, you're looking at, it starts at 11k in that Epic KOM. And it's nine and a half k long. So it's super long um at four percent average so yeah. and the last couple of k th- personally is the hardest of that because there's drops and there's dips and there's yeah yeah it's not straight yeah bit of straight a up. Coaster. now it doesn't go right up to the mass here doesn't it doesn't turn left it just goes straight on don't think it um and then we drop down massive descent with the arrow tuck going yep um and then you have a bit of it's mainly all downhill from the top of that after from the jungle loop yeah, a few wee kickers over the over the bridge, a wee wooden bridge you go over. There's a bit of yeah. a up to seven eight percent, uh, and then you're on to the start of uh, Alp the Alps. Alps. Alp Alps. Pretty much, yeah. So it starts at thirty four k's in. It's twelve k long, and it's an average eight point five percent. Now I did the Alp on Sunday, and just zone two cruising two twenty, and how long did that take you? Seventy one minutes. Jeez. Now I have a time of 51 up it. Now that's not going out and aiming for yeah. a time that's maybe doing sprints up it or intervals or, or whatever. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to do something for 51 or you know, one effort up it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. So, so uh, I have uh, some information here from Cycling Ireland. Um, Alp du Swift overall leaderboard here. Yeah. So the overall leader up the Alp is Stuart Miller from Ard Cycling Club. Okay. Thir- 38 minutes and 45 seconds. 38? 38 minutes and 45 okay. seconds. Then Con McDonfey, we know him. This He's 38.52. Cycling Ireland boys? Yep. Jason Kenny's next in the 40s, and then Ronan McLaughlin's in the 40s also. Oh, but- um Probably but, Ronan breaking the Everest. Aye, again. Get a wee go at, get a wee go at the Alp again. I think he'd break that thirty-eight oh, minutes. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, no bother. But the, these times were all recorded mid last year, May time. Yeah, the, the wind direction's different now. Aye. This time year. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it's tough terrain. So, Just as each stage gets on, it gets a wee bit harder. So yeah, I think the start list and the finish list is going to significantly be different. Yeah. Probably my own name. Never know. So there's no real point talking about total numbers yet because what have you got there? Have you you have a couple of you, ballpark figures? You have a full week of uh, you have 38 in the for stage one. This is so you have 38 A's, 38 B's, 19 C's, nine D's, and seven E's. So these E riders are the women. Yeah. Okay. And um, that's on stage number one. So they're obviously going to go up a lot. I'm just flicking through your companion up here. That's yeah, and I've been speaking to you know, the majority of people I've, that I'm talking to, are you doing it? And it's, I would say it's 50 50 at the moment. Um, some people are saying, no, the weather's too good, to be swift. And um, nobody said it's too, yeah, you know, it's, it's not based on like, you know, can't be bothered doing it, but it's just like, you know, can't be bothered doing any swifting. It's not just because it's a tour of the north. So, yeah, fingers crossed there's, there's good numbers um, because the prize list is a bit of a who's who, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the look. price list is pretty good there. There's definitely a lot of people on board for this. Um, do you want to read out the price list here? Yeah. You have it, yeah. Go yeah, for so you, you've Galibier, obviously Miles. He's the main sponsor. Clothing bundles for overall male and female winner. Um, he's also doing the points in the KOM winner bundles. So his value is around the 600 quid mark. Total, total value, uh, mm. which is pretty good. Um. You have Gary Keegan then, so he's doing fitness tests to the value of five hundred pound, okay. and he's taking best under twenty three male and female, or one random if no female. Okay. Dougie Lenny's brother. Yeah. His uh, custom number plates to the value of seventy pound, and that's it. Just has raffle beside it here. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ulster Aerials. This is actually quite a good one, I think. This um. Is- Digital smart scales that link to Swift. That's uh, and how do you win those? Uh, <laughs> that's a epic KOM. I think that will be a sprint where people will be using their brakes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sprint on the hoods. Nobody will want to win them. 
<laughs> Printing on the hoods like like Bennett a few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, trying to avoid that one. Oh, yeah. Second. So yeah, so that's the value of fifty quid first male and female. Now, what I said to Ross and when I was doing the podcast with him was that he should just surprise visits to people, you know. Yeah. Uh, and just do weigh-ins. Um, now, yeah. what I plan to do is, um, you know yourself, I've been sick last week with a man flu, and I've been avoiding the the beer last weekend. Yeah. So I'm going to take. My best weight that I am this week, and that's that's it. That's I'm it. I'll stick probably around. Weigh, weigh in on on Friday night, you know, like the boxers do, fully dehydrated. <laughs> fully dehydrated. Yeah. You know, moving moving the scales about the bathroom to find the best <laughs> best place on the floor. You know, yeah. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. We get get on our KG or something down. You know, even the head shaped and all for, you know, I'm just a slim line. Yeah. So. Uh, Tell me, let's break down the KOM and the points. Where's the what way do the points in the KOM? What way are they working? Uh, well, hold on, with two more prizes here. You've, sorry, sorry, sorry. You have yourself, Kenning Cycles, yeah, uh, vouchers 30, 20, and 10 times two, and that's going to be a raffle. Yeah, okay. And C Sense, new beam front light, bar bag, and phone case, and that is also on a raffle. Lovely wee bum bag, you know. Pretty good. Um, the points then I'm gonna to have to try and find that on my. I have so many screens open here. So there'll be the sprints, like some of the races I've done in the past. You, you'll go through some of the sprint banners. Um, and I think some of them have been in the past to get like what do you call them power ups. Yes, and it's something I've never really got involved with because I sort of can't even sprint for the the, the win. Never mind both. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah. Not not for me, man. You know. Yeah, well, I have the points up here. So it just says points are awarded to top 10 riders in each designated sprint and okay. finish in the format of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I wonder if you go back into those routes, will you see where the Swiss or where the uh, uh, sprints are? Sprints are, yeah. It should all be listed on the wee, in the wee PDF book. No, I've read it, but I read it a few days ago. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to refresh my memory here as well. So, but it will be in that. And then obviously the, the polka dot jersey will be all the mountains and that are they all equal? Yeah, let me just flip through this here. Cruise results. Preparation. Classifications. It's just so much. Yeah. It's not just a case of you know first man across the line. There's there's racing on down, yeah. There is no team competition in this series. It actually doesn't say here. So uh yeah, like in the past when in the rail jerseys there's been like you're riding the race and there's been a break up the road and you're, you are doing the calculations in your head of you know i need to get third or i need to get fourth the winner overall i don't think uh that's going to come into, into play <laughs> in this there's going to be no you're not going to be able to calculate in your head you're going to be breathing out of your arse yeah yeah so you're not going to be you're not going to be able to yeah so not going to happen Fingers crossed for that. So, anything else there in the uh, rule book that stands out? Really, I just um, no. I'm just flicking through it here. Just if you're more than six watts per kilo for five minutes, there's going to be a, an investigation, basically. So riders failing to complete all four events will be classified as a DNF. Yeah, basically. Also, so you got to do them all. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So fingers, cr fingers crossed for a good turnout. Yeah, well, we'll soon see. It's early days. If rest of the week to get entered in you know so yeah it's, there is plenty of time it's like some boys from the cycle cross always played the uh waiting game and entered at the last minute yeah i don't know it's like you're not going to change the race just because somebody entered at the last minute you know what no. I mean? so uh yeah. yeah apart from that guys all good so what's the plan podcast wise afterwards we'll just do one and get a bit of a recap what just do then? one for the whole event, yeah, why didn't at some stage during the week? Why didn't you finish, Glenn? What happened? Yeah, that's probably how it'll start. Yeah, so what happened to you in that stage, Glenn? What happened? So, uh, yeah, we're fun. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, we're talking about handbooks there. I came across this one here. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's time good. to end. Time to end now, Glenn. Look, full page, <laughs> full page spread. <laughs> now, if we could get down to that weight, now we'd be flying, you know. <laughs> Uh, There's no pictures in this handbook, unfortunately. No, no. But uh, fair play to Ross and the guys for getting that sorted. So um, yeah. we'll check back in uh, afterwards. Hopefully get this out tonight, which is Tuesday. And then next Tuesday, probably get a bit of a recap. 
Yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday, see how it goes, yeah. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, head over to the TUZ Facebook page. That's where the best information on all this is, yep. and the prize list and all that sort of stuff. It's all there. Um, yeah, like and share, guys. That's the main thing. And uh, Mark, thanks for coming on board. No problem. I'll see you at the meeting. See you later. Beginning podcast.